So just going through Colorado Springs, I was going to do this yesterday. I came all the way up here and then uh, my friend uh, Casey King forgot the date and it wasn't yesterday, it was actually today. So today I'm going up to uh, Denver to get the dimensions off his oil metering pump. I was gonna pull mine off yesterday and then I found out that, then I found all that stuff. So, uh, you know, I don't wanna really pull a car apart right now just so I could still drive it and then uh, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go up, get those dimensions, come back and then design something and hopefully get it machined uh, by the end of the week. And all right, so King, let me pretty much uh, ink pad that thing and get an outline. He has a pretty sick little uh, beamer, but uh, yeah, there's a the little outline and uh, now I could design it in SolidWorks. So that would be awesome. And then I could have a nice block off and hopefully everything works. And I'm actually pretty excited that that, that worked so well. I just used like this ink pad from uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, we like dabbed some on with a, on the like surface with a uh, actual um, like paper towel and then then just got that out of it. All right, good thing that there's uh, at least one road that is in, uh, nobody knows about though. Well, a few like OG Coloradans know, but uh, yeah, the highway is pretty much gridlocked because of some stupid bicycle event and everybody's like looking at it instead of driving it. So when I came up here, it took me like an hour extra to get up to Denver. And uh, I was coming back through Castle Rock and I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm going the back way. So I'm going the back way now. And uh, yeah, look, no, no traffic and through the, through the hills. So it's awesome. I almost wish they would invent something. So like your ass doesn't fall asleep when you're driving too long in a car. Cause I swear after our, like three hours, like when I took that trip to California, when we, me and Trevor go like anywhere, like you get like one cheek that's like, I think it's like the one where like the gas pedal, like it's just like pissed because you're like holding the gas in one spot uh, when you can't use the cruise control in like cities and stuff. And uh, yeah, just like puts, puts it to sleep. I'm almost done. All I have is the dryer and the uh, temp sensor and uh, horns to connect. Then in here, I uh, am pretty much finished. I just need to, you know, all that wire right there just needs to be bound up. But I went up to Denver and got that, uh, like I got a, I used an ink pad. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. So this like ink pad right here, and it's just for like, like, you know, stamps. You go to Hobby Lobby, it's a stamp pad. So there's like ink in it. And all I, all I did was um, dab like a paper towel in it and then dab like the uh, oil metering pump. So, uh, and just pretty much put it on a piece of paper. And now I'm gonna design a uh, block off from that. I measured the depth of the O-ring groove, the width of it and all that stuff. So I should be able to use a factory O-ring in it and then I should also uh, be able to make it so, you know, the factory O-ring seals really well. All the other ones pretty much just use like silicone. And I've seen a bunch of threads and it seems like they all leak. Everybody that has had one for sale when I was looking on Craigslist was like, have an oil meeting, pump block off, but the silicone leaks and I need to re-silicone it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs. You guys will see the time-lapse of me designing stuff now, so uh, hope you enjoy it. The 240 wiring is almost finished. The oil metering pump block off plate is designed. My friend Nate is going to uh, 3D print like five layers so I can stick it on there, make sure the oil, um, the O-ring for, um, for the plate is gonna line up with the, uh, the hole and uh, that the bolt holes are all gonna line up and then I can actually machine one out of aluminum. 
And then that will be blocked off and then I can work on like fuel system and coolant lines and all that other stuff. Uh, I've been thinking about pulling the engine because the oil pan leaks, so I can reseal it. And uh, yeah, but I'm glad this wiring is almost complete. It uh, definitely was quite a big task. It probably wouldn't have been that big of a task if I didn't have to um, move back from Minnesota. I probably would have had it done like two years ago. It's just kind of funny and this LS would have been running and everything, but um, soon to be running and uh, hopefully driving. I, I still need to get a tie rod for this side because this one was bent from that uh, accident when it was sitting on the trailer. It just, I had the strap going through the wheels and it just tweaked it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like the little bit of SolidWorks, uh, you know, the, the stuff that I do. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, comment below. Uh, hit that bell so you get notifications when I post these. See you later.